Welcome to Kitchen XC. This is Kat. Hi, this is Laura. And we're gearing up for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. Check out what we're making today. Does that get you excited? Mmm. Makes me excited. Yeah, okay, so in the pan, I've got some butter in here. Get the tablespoon more. Alright. Get yourself a bag of chocolate. It could be chocolate chips, chocolate chunks. could be a candy bar. So this is called ounces. Dark chocolate. Oh, yeah. Dark chocolate's better than the other chocolates. But, hey, whatever chocolate takes your boat. If you're lazy, you could do it in a microwave. And make sure you're stirring to keep it from burning. Oh, yeah. This way we also added the butter. It's easier to melt. Oh, my God, Kat. Wow. We forgot to turn off the music. <laughs> Sorry, I like head banging to Beethoven, man. <laughs> Get my It's all right. Keep on stirring. Keep on stirring. <coughs> yeah, getting over bronchitis too. Winning in all angles. All right, you turn that shit off. <laughs> all right, you already cleaned your strawberries. You dip. And twirl. Make sure you have something to put it on. Because it'll be a mess if you don't have something. And here we go. This is parchment paper. You could use wax paper. Make sure you put the parchment paper, wax paper, whatever foil on a cookie sheet or something because you need to put them in the fridge for them to harden. Yeah. And give it anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. For a perfect solid. That was like twirl. It's a twirling action. Look at that. It's like Olympics ice skater. Woo! -hoo! Getting that access off. The access. Aww. Don't they look like flowers or roses? They do look like flowers or roses. I've never seen the huge ones with long stems except for this time of year. Probably because it's when they're out in the market like that. If you can't find that, can't afford these, go for the regular ones. You could stuff it on a toothpick or a skewer when doing this. Could use spoons to help you. Like how we showed you in the chocolate pretzel. Yeah. So like in the chocolate pretzel one, if you like two tone, go ahead. Just wait for this to be solid. And then do it again. The white stuff, you just drizzle it on. You could dip it like a tuxedo. And there you go. Okay, because this will make one nice Valentine's Day dessert. Oh, yes. Yeah, it could be loved by both genders. That's right. Everybody likes sweets. Well, most people. You could get the girl a bouquet of roses. Get the guy a bouquet of bacon roses. Don't forget the man. Girls, definitely don't forget your guy. Guys need love too. Oh yeah. And these are nice because they're easy to make. And they're a nice last minute thing you can do. Yeah. And it's something handmade that's not hard. It's not like you have to be... An artist to make a fancy card or something. And yeah, get in your bottom. So you scrape, 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 scrape. Scrape, scrape, scrape. So it's nice and easy. You twirl, it doesn't have to be perfect. Who you needs know, perfection? Add more stuff to it, but I think strawberries and chocolate. Good enough. Yeah, don't eat the leaves or the stem. That'd just be nasty. I think we should know that by now, Jen. 
<laughs> yeah, I think so. But just in case you didn't. Jeez Louise. Yeah. When I came home, I had a guy that didn't know any better. You did? That only lasted one day. <laughs> and he ate the leaves on a strawberry? Yeah. <laughs> he was eating a chocolate dip strawberry. It didn't know any better. Those look fabulous, my dear. All right, one last lonely guy. Right in there. Oh, yeah. Dumped him right in. All right. Okay. Then you just dump him right in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt yourself now. Yeah, or break anything on the way out. And ends up looking like these. Beautiful chocolate covered strawberries. Bye bye. See you next Tuesday and have a good Valentine's Day. Bye guys. Show us some love and hit the like button.